Hey guys, it's Newman Brown from Running Gun Game Calls. Um, season's getting ready to start uh, around the country in a lot of places. And I just want to go over, when you're turkey hunting, uh, something to keep in mind. And something that has helped me harvest a lot of turkeys over the years. Um, think about the situation you're in before you just throw a bunch of calls at that turkey. Um, every time I call to a turkey for the first time, whether it be at daylight or if I hear one gobble and I'm trying to move in on him, uh, set up, always start out slow and soft. You can get more aggressive, but if you start out pounding him, it's awful hard to reel that back in. And, uh, and, and you know, so you're, once, you, once you've pounded him, your hands are tied, you've committed to it. But you can start out soft and then try to figure out what that turkey likes and what he's responding to. Um, always start out soft. I believe that's been a, a, a key with me that has worked really well. Um, another thing, guys, think about, again, the situation you're in. If you're doing, say, run and gun, middle of the day, and you hear a turkey gobble, don't just start pounding that turkey. Think about where he's at. Is he on the hill above you? Is he 500 yards out in front of you? Make sure that you make your move and, and plan your setup before you start calling to that turkey. Because two things are going to happen if you start pounding him and he's way up the hill above you or he's way out the ridge. You're going to get him gobbling real good and it's going to, you got more chance of attracting hens in or he's going to get to where he can see and expect that hen to walk to him and he's going to hang up. So, gosh, I'm the world's worst for wanting to hear him gobble. But, guys, when you, the best call you can use a lot of the time is no call. And I, and I tell people that all the time, but it's the truth. If you got a turkey hammering and he's not moving, he's hung up out there 70, 80 yards, 100 yards, and he's, he's gobbling back and forth but just not coming in. Uh, maybe he's got hens, but maybe he's hung up. In nature, the hen goes to the gobbler. Uh, Guys, stop calling to him. Wait 15, 20 minutes before you call. And then when you do, start out all over again real soft. Because a lot of times what happens is he'll, you'll quit calling. He'll, he, he's likely to gobble, oh, seven, eight, nine, ten more times out there strutting. But if he doesn't have hens with him, curiosity. You know, they say curiosity killed the cat, but it kills the tom too. So he's out there strutting, and that hen has done shut up. 15 minutes, 20 minutes goes by, nothing. He's expecting her to walk in when she hasn't. I'm telling you, all the time I call gobblers in by shutting up. Because they, what, what happens is they think, okay, another Tom has come along, or she's not interested, or she's barely interested. He'll break out a strut and start coming in silent. He won't keep gobbling. He'll start coming in silent. So 15, 20 minutes goes by, start out soft. Um, can't tell you how many times like that. Real soft. Just, just start it out soft. Try to locate him again, see what's going on after 15, 20 minutes. Whoa! I mean, right there, right over the hill from me. Just hammering. And and when they, when they gobble and they're in on top of you like that, just that soft little call, you ain't got to call again most of the time because he's like, okay, I, I'm, I'm close to her. They'll come running in, and I mean literally come running in on a sprint until they crest up the hill or, or right on top of you, and then, you know, they'll blow out in full strut and try to show themselves off as they come in. So when you're, remember to keep it soft starting out on a bird, and think about the situation you're in before you start pounding that turkey with calls. You don't want to just go around cutting constantly. You're going to make these birds call shy. And, the, and it doesn't fit the situation all the time. That would be like you walking out in the middle of the desert and screaming flood. It makes no sense. When you're talking to a turkey, think about, okay, this is what the turkey's going to be doing. This is the call I need to be using. If you are um, going to do a locator yoke from a hen, don't break that off into uh, cuts and clucks and, and then do a fight and purr. It's completely different calls and people mishmash crazy calls together. Instead of actually paying attention uh, to the language of the turkey. You're going to do a locator yelp. You're doing just that. You're trying to locate other turkeys. And I'm just using my mouth. I know it sounds horrible. But uh, 
play to the scenario make it believable because if you just throw a bunch of a bunch of random calls in without actually thinking through okay i'm doing this and i have a purpose for doing this it's not going to seem natural to the turkey and a lot of times that that turkey will gobble and he will leave whether it be because he's got hens or something just just doesn't seem right or tur turkey's got a small brain but they got great instincts great instincts so you got to use their instincts against them. Play to the situation. Think your hunt through. Think your calls through. Anyway, just a reminder, guys, good luck this spring. I'll be putting some more videos up, and you all be safe out there, okay?